this is a problem. This is some kind of Korean message mixed with Gaza. This is a message sent to the wrong reality. <laughs> this was a reality that was a possibility, but it was avoided, and now we're in a different day and age. So this message is now a mute point. M-U-T-E. It no longer qualifies as an excuse or a reason. It's now a tracker and a tracer as to how the fuck are they macrame that's German. You don't have German approval. First of all, you don't have Egyptian approval. Second of all, you don't have Germanic approval. Let's see. And you don't have English approval. You don't have Star Goddess approval. So there's nothing. This was a lost opportunity to get everything right. You have to remember the caramel skin color that Maria was born in as Mirza, M-U-R-Z-A. For the three wise men, and one brought the myrrh, it was caramel color. And the myrrh of the Zafruta, I'd be the Zafruta of colorless. See? Good, great. Uh, she is the, I, she said, I asked her, uh, one of my uh, Hitler um, dreams that I woke up and when we were in advisory at R, at R E M. Right. So um, at that meeting, um, I woke up and I went across the street like I always did because that's where she lived and we're born two weeks apart in the Zodiac. She's Cancer, um, Leo. Um, and so she's the 19th, um, the 3rd. So anyway, um, I asked her, uh, listen, I have to do some uh, star goddess work. I was like, and I need to make sure that you and I are tethered together properly and we'll always be friends and we're never going to fight. And that I can rely on you no matter what thick or thin, you'll always be there. And she's like, okay. And I go, I need a nickname. What, what do you, what do you like to be called? Like, that's not insulting to you since you're a different color than I am. And I don't know how this future's gonna go with like people getting angry about like, I know, uh, I hear that my uh, grandparents had a problem in our, you know, in New York um, with darker skinned than yourself and myself. Um, they called them colored and then they got really angry. So I don't want to use words that are going to make our generation angry. So since you're clearly darker than I am, what's a good friend name that's not going to be insulting for me as Nicole to call you in the future? I said, because I also had, you remember you sitting here with Jenny, the Korean, right? Where she's the one that looks like she's, her face is broken, right? That one. Okay, good. So she's the, she said, uh, same thing, uh, I should find names that are not insulting for all of you. She says that Jenny is not an insulting name for her, but it's not a also descriptive uh, name for her. So what do you want me to put in my Star Goddess file, Maria Marza, uh, for, right? I said, what's your last name one more time? She said, Marza. I go, great, okay. I was like, just can you spell that for me? She goes, I don't know how to spell it. I go, yeah, mine's Cataruza. I don't know how to spell that either. I know it's something to do with the animal, but it's very long. And it, they said it might take some time to remember all the letters in order. So, right. Um, so anyway, long story shorter is uh, she told me to call her Mia. M-I-A. So I was like, okay, that sounds fine to me. You want to be called Mia, I'll call you Mia. Although, in actuality, I never called her Mia because it's not a spoken uh, name in my goddess file. It's just for MI written files for kitty literature as a goddess um, on this track through hell <laughs> and how to fucking explain it to myself um, being that I'm the only one in a reality, the only reality that ever will exist throughout all space and time. Uh, I'm an immortal, which then makes it a very dangerous place for me with so many of you insisting you need cellular and satellite and computers and 
all this bullshit that really you don't need to because it doesn't make you any more productive or useful. It actually makes you more dangerous, especially when you let down syndrome foundation, uh, right, cause a real fucking problem for us. I did, however, look at this, on today's date, I shaved my legs and I cut myself. Okay, good. Okay, so that was my private time when I did. And not that any of you need to know, but since we're all up in my private business, which I know has been going on for quite some time, here's the other thing. I marked this immortal skin, because I know my face is Niklaus's favorite in a cuneiform uh, human. This is the only seed the Zafruta colorless ever comes in. I'm a little bloated at the moment, but I marked this file on this cuneiform with my uh, old self, yeah, the Ankh. It said uh, Minky in the horizontal, more feminine position of minor. And then I have Nicole, which stands for Niklaus and Nicole, being in the vertical slit horizon of God, being the most important serpent that we always come as God. And that is the more male and dominant. Even though I am a female, I am the most masculine female that through all space and time. And that's why I need Niklaus, because he's the most masculine and dominant in the whole entire universe. So, with that being said, uh, then I have FR, there's an A inside of a circle, and then there's NK for Niklaus. Hello, the king! Or, I know in actuality it spells Frank around there, but that's uh, Franca. That would be friends. I know you. Oh my god, we gotta mention. Yeah, exactly. But I don't want Moroccan Oasis moving in and burning down Notre Dame. Oh, wait, that already happened. I heard through the grapevine. I don't know if it actually happened. Whatever, I'm not over there. But these are the cascading effects that are a fucking problem. If Mia is MIA, then I guess I'd be MIB. Is that right? Because usually it's a toggle switch. I don't need Down Syndrome flappers, which she's not, neither am I. Jenny is. Um, but, again, I need everything that looked like Jenny off of a phone, off out of royal communications. They're not allowed to have a share, a yen, a yenta, uh, anything that they could communicate with that might be holding in custody some form of greasy whatever to then move for other people. So, I, here's the thing, uh, I also saw this wonderful news clip that there's a North Korean guy who doesn't use lights, technology, I give him kudos for that. Uh, he did, however, have a whole army of like, I don't know, it looks like World War II when like the Germans were smart and moving things in like a yay and the same thing when like big dirty Russians, yeah! You used to have like guns and walk in formation and go, we're taking shit back! So why do I only see North Koreans uh, using their weaponry in a uh, stand down everybody else position? Uh, that would be the children that are so more broken. But although I like to say that he likes to stay in his little sphincter of the world, so uh, he doesn't bother me quite as much as, I don't know, let's say Z, the XI. Right, yeah, the guy who decides that he's gonna, his mom's gonna use a Roman numeral of 11 just to fuck with, like, everything Goddess needs in this most dangerous version of all of the, um, special kids. Like the ones that like nobody wants to mention are really special, right? And then they have to have all the tell oh my god, yeah. They like to take over the bouncy house and then push other children down and then like jump on them for fun and like nobody knows why. Right, yeah, but but they're special. So you have to have like a lot of patience. Oh, yeah, you know what? It's funny. <laughs> Dorito mom who drinks soda, right, in the United States and smoke, maybe smokes cigarettes. I don't really give a shit. Um, right, you who, like, gets her nails done and her toes and her hair is just so perfect all the time. And your clothes are always perfect. And you drive some form of, I don't know, your husband <laughs> bought you, like, ten cars and you don't know which one to drive. They all look the same to you. Yeah. Uh, to the rest of us, you look like a dipshit. Right, those are the dipshits for sure. Uh, they're, like, the I don't know what to call them other than I give you all assholes 
sphincter dipshits, uh, useless, um, in women territory, uh, yeah, okay, so that's how I see and view women, everyone, because that's all I ever see. <laughs> I don't see, like, anybody getting anywhere in smart territory. And then I see one woman <laughs> sitting in a crown with a stick and uh, a pointy hat that sparkles with some kind of Fred Flintstone kid, like she's a superhero. But guess what, Elizabeth? I'm looking around and you let all the special kids take over the bouncy house, the one air bouncy house we're all in together. And they're pushing down all the white, black, and caramel kids with and the Down syndrome flapper special kids nobody seems to know how to talk to. Yeah, they're jumping on top of all of the good, like, pure blood kids that are like, I know they're special. I know we're supposed to be nice to them, but like now what they're hurting. Are they hurting me? Are they hurting you? I don't know. And then the poor pure blood, the three pure blood kids in three colors that go black, caramel, and white are looking at each other and going, uh, what do, how do we talk, I don't know, where do we start? Like, we didn't get along, but you and him got along, and you and I get along, and I'll sit there if you want to talk for me with that one, and I don't know if I'm ready to get over whatever I was mad at, and I might, it might have happened, I don't, I don't even know if that's true anymore, the special kids uh, who's jumping on us and hurting us all, it's like a real big wake up call to like, oh, right, maybe God was right, and, right, and maybe that's why God calls herself like, here's the thing, uh, I saw a movie, um, I know that Jenny from the only block on 43rd, uh, miracle is that Nicole actually uh, is the immortal, uh, right, and so, um, here we are in that Jenny of, uh, not, don't get close, don't get confused with the only Jenny you idiots in Dorito Moms know is Jenny Lull from A-Rod and, like, some superstar wedding of nobody gives a shit, right, yeah, no, she doesn't exist in actuality. I've seen her on TV, doesn't mean she exists, it just means she's more of a useless piece of shit and she has a special color and she looks pretty, but she's useless as fucking uh, the end of the toilet paper when you have a really bad diarrhea spell. Right, yeah, you have no toilet paper, that's what Jenny from J-Lo, I mean, beautiful as anything, but if you have diarrhea and you need to wipe your ass, she's not really going to be helpful, especially if she's stuck in the TV. Right, yeah, okay, so that's how I feel about all of you that made it to the beautiful screen. You're useful in one, maybe, faction to teach others some other thought process that maybe I could reference as God in my immortal problem that's, like, really scary from Star Wars, but, uh, like, nobody believes, because, uh, why would you call yourself a God? Like, that's a really tall order. Like, why would you believe you? Uh, cause if you don't, right, uh, we're having trouble figuring out what we should do with those kids. Uh, cause nobody really needs them, they need a whole lot of words and explanation that nobody has time for. Uh, they used to tell me I couldn't kill them, but now I'm thinking like the Kyle, uh, whatever from America's superhero of like, I saw one sniper, I don't know what unit, division, I... What army? I have no... He wore camouflage. He was in a movie. He was really handsome. He died at the end of the movie. It was absolutely tragic. But that's what happens when you make documentaries about real-life events. I mean, but that's a superhero. Not like Captain America in the blue and white and whatever that stands like this. No, the superhero actually is the sniper at the top of the whatever. Uh, killing everything, no matter the country, that has Down Syndrome and is causing communications in royal territory problems and is selling cheap parts and computers and phones to all area special kids that are jumping on all the pure bloods. The whites, the blacks, the caramels, and I'll throw a few ashy in there because they get mad. They're like, well, I'm not, ca are you going to take me into your white house? Right here. I gave you an ashy classification. Are you happy now? You have a whole nother spectrum. If you don't like my white, go stand over by ash. They'll take you in and I can still do my job. Stupid. Yeah, I don't go for the individual, I go for the whole line of like a, I don't know, let's say if we're at 7.5 billion useless pieces of skin, I am responsible for 
all their protection. I don't really want to learn any of their names because I don't want to show favoritism to anybody in the line of the house because then somebody else might say, that she's playing pirate. No, I hate you all equally unless you become useful. Right, so in that person per se, right. So when I see you coptically, the only thing I see is either a useless moving action figure who could be my hero and villain all in one, because it depends on which criminals and the dumb we're speaking to. The criminals, we become the villains. We're okay with that, because we know to the stupid, we're actually heroes, even though they won't acknowledge it. But we will quietly, in God's house, acknowledge you, Daddy Russia! Fight! Ruses! Rooting for Russia, because Russia doesn't exist except in... Alla Valhalla, where the Swiss own the entire range of the Alps, and there's whatever, four houses and a new Soviet Union. Great, okay, it might not be on paper, but we're okay with that, because we have to recreate the world, and all the special kids that have been jumping up and down so excited about science are really hurting the four pure bloods and all of their children, and they didn't uh, know how to start this without God, but then they couldn't agree on like how to get God out of the dirt and what's going to happen to everybody else. I don't know. How about if you are having this many problems, we start with the pure blood white, uh, everything royal, that called themselves royal, called themselves a pedigree, and then did nothing to help the CIA blow up in whatever sandy vacation you guys were taking. I say the word vacation, not so you get mad at me. Here's the thing. I am responsible for whatever color is over there. It looks like it's a caramel. However, there is some ashy in there. I did not see anything as dark as as melanin rich, um, that would be the darkest hue of the skin and the pallor. So uh, that's why I go with caramel, and that ends in an M E L, which is usually, uh, right, if we're going to go in all four houses, right, you got a, uh, a E L at the end because you also lent me the permission to say that your holy book references an Allah, which you like to keep in your own image, which is fine. So I'm Val, and I'm from Valhalla, but it's spelled Allah with a V. Great? Good. So if I was going to not insult all of the four per se Soviets who are going to be in union of we have four pure blood smart biological colors to protect and then they come in like a whole spectrum of varieties but that's not an important factor because that's somewhere in a visual interpretation in a line in whatever color line they line up with in they're all equal of protection importance great great okay so, we have bigger issues than trying to get four colors to uh, just admit that they're in some one house as a color. They have no country, they have no identity, they might have... Let me tell you something. I know that there are some people in, I don't know, I'm going to give you a sandy vacation destination of wherever my U.S. troops had to go. Uh, from, say, I don't know, somewhere in Texas, United States, like that's where the good old boys go. Right, okay, so that's the only people that have really good, strong American men that are country boys and like, yeah, USA! Only once for now, so don't get mad at the other 49. I've never met you, and I know Texas is whatever. Like, my last holdout on one lone star of, like, maybe their parents taught them the correct racism of there is a star goddess, and she's white, and we didn't want to hurt the blacks, but we're also not going to, like, engage in their level of crazy. Great. Okay, so here we are. Because it was the Down Syndrome Foundation in the air house jumping up and down <laughs> that was leading that charge and telling the good white people of Texas to whatever plantation. I mean, listen, here's the thing in all areas of stupid. Uh, when there's a four house and you're in United States and you don't even know that there's like, I don't know, like 
an ally in a book that's really important to somebody else somewhere else that may not be living as great as you and your United States of went to sleep and then they think that you are all like rock stars but then selfish and then like we're here going like no we're not we're actually like the good guys but we've just been disadvantaged and they're like disadvantaged you want to see disadvantage you come over to our sandbox because we don't even have running water and it's like yeah I get that but we do have this place in our neck of the woods that doesn't have running water in like say I don't know what like Arkansas Mississippi we got a couple of really derelict places out in New Mexico I mean like it's prevalent everywhere guys like God wanted to help you all in like major architectural projects of I already have the answers but and it's really simple from where I come from but instead you idiots laugh right not you per se but the generation you're, that you came from the ones that left your hose on in order to electron transport you into some kind of like you woke up with me we're in some zodiac program together but like how do we ever like actually exist with her right yeah that one okay so uh right the if we look over our shoulder at our parents, uh, right, your parents may have been good, mine weren't, so I'm going on the assumption that everybody before I arrived in the United States fucked up. Good, great. I'm not mad at my parents. I just know that they're broken machines. Good, great. So I don't hold you, I don't, I don't get mad at you. But here's the other thing. <laughs> I had one black guy, he was like, uh, listen, he's like, I just want you to know that racism does exist. There are black people everywhere that, um, experience it and I'm like okay got it so what did you like I mean and then I don't have to see I'm confident and I know that broken script is a part of the broken programming that the bouncy house like extra special children I don't even want to give them the word extra but they're like the special children of like down syndrome but high autism function of Asperger's, they're a combination between Asperger's and Down syndrome. That's their function, okay? You would not take an Asperger's child from their Whitestone special ed day school. That's where my son Benjamin went, right? Because he was... He had a little problem with his connection tower being that his father was a piece of shit that was an English crowned asshole not helping his mom who's a star goddess and, and a Dane, D-A-N-E, and a New Amsterdam, not a York, which is Tia Frio's family, of real big, big shit bags. Right, yeah, okay, so uh, now that we're all on the same page of I really don't give a shit, and there is a Tia Frio down in the Pentagon, why is he so fucking useless with coming to like actually say hello and tell me what's going on from the U.S. like USA perspective of like what the fuck are you doing down there Tia Frio and why am I married to your cross-dressed Beck loser and why do I have to do this on YouTube and shout you out like you're the only one I know exists according to Tia Frio I might not have seen you but mm. oh wait we went to a funeral together you no, no, you said hello that's all you said to me and I'm like yeah I have no fucking clue who you are I mean, it's like, you're, there's, that's all his family, and I'm just like, yeah, okay. Yeah, him and I just met. Yeah, like, oh, nice to meet you. So, like, what? Uh, like, couldn't have taken me to the side and said, listen, kid, um, I don't, I, you know, I heard a lot of things. Right, and um, this, you probably should not be, right, intertwined with whatever uh, is going on in... Why are you sending him back to Nora's couch? Why are you letting him in your house? <laughs> you know what, Matt? Matt, that would have been like a thanks, Matt. Like, wow, what a superhero like Kyle sniping out at the top of the things all the Down Syndrome kids selling pieces and parts to like, I don't know, the caramel people unsuspectingly because they don't know who to follow. Uh, so why not, Matt? Why couldn't you have given me that like little heads up since you work in something called a Pentagon? I'm assuming it's something official with like a tag that you had worked for right somebody trusts you Matt not me but uh, I don't know who uh, would have been nice because uh, you could have proven just your awesome whatever worth but no you didn't, couldn't have done that huh All right, yeah. a lot of you fucking fall short I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you all I mean are you not living in the same bouncy house that I am